exist already. And the background is that I'm thinking about doing this for PubDev. And the idea is that, well, uh, the publication time for PubDev is a long time of the, like a significant chunk of the standard sync plus publish workflow. And it's mostly because you're generating package indices. So that's the metadata files that contains a big block for every package in the repository. Um, and often there's like a previous repo version that has already been published. And the only thing that has changed between that repo version and the repo version you're currently publishing is maybe 10 packages got added. So it would be much faster to go identify that previous version's publication, grab the publication artifact from that, open it up again and add the extra 10 packages in like paragraphs rather than regenerating the whole thing from scratch every time you do a publication. But it does of course mean that suddenly publications are no longer completely independent of each other, at least while you're publishing. And I was just wondering, is that something that seems workable or, or is that a bad idea for some reason? Um, first thing that comes to my mind is there's the published resource, I think, or published artifact. Published artifact. Which is a type of a content and the actual artifacts on disk or in your storage bucket, they are reused. But obviously your publication steps creates a new one and realizes, okay, that artifact exists. Which is but not exactly your point, but there is at least uh, storage wise, it's reused. Yeah, but like, so I have a new artifact because the package index has changed, but it's only changed a little bit. And I don't want to regenerate the whole thing by reading every package and then re regenerating the whole thing. I want to basically go and say, I know that this new, like this repo version that I'm currently publishing, I know what, like from the way repo versions work, that the only thing that's changed since the last repo version is 10 new packages got added. Um, and I want to grab the old publication artifact from the old publication of the old version and like reopen that and add 10 more paragraphs to it rather than rebuilding it from, and then save it as a new artifact for my- So what is stopping you from doing this right now? Uh, nothing. It's just an idea I've had, and I wanted to ask if everybody, anyone thinks there is something that's stopping me from doing that. I don't like, think there is anything stopping you, um, but I do wonder, like, I don't, I don't know how expensive it is for you to generate the metadata. Um, pretty expensive. Okay. So, so, I mean, I think this is a pretty good optimization, actually. We have been discussing this workflow in the RPM plugin, and we call it as incremental publish, where you don't need to regenerate from scratch all the mm -hmm. metadata, but just to add the diff as you have described. And in the RPM plugin, it wouldn't be that easy to implement. That's probably one of the thing which holds okay. us back, but. Um, maybe we will need to end up to do it anyway uh, for example for for the repositories which contain let's say um, 250,000 packages it might not be sustainable in a very short time to create you know from scratch the limited data uh, with every package edit you know it would be much faster to do the incremental publish yeah so, so what you're saying totally makes sense um probably the question stands in the complexity of the design and its implementation okay but what i'm hearing is this is not a crazy idea there isn't some thing i've overlooked that means that this cannot possibly work uh, so it's just a question of do i find the time to implement and then i'll see if the implementation becomes super complicated and hard well that that i can figure out myself it's worth it. Um, I, I thought I had two questions about, I think I'm at four now. Um, probably the hard part is to find the published artifact. You need to 
um, augment. Maybe that's yep. not so hard. Second is the storage backends usually don't uh, allow adding to files. Also, artifacts may not be modified at all. So, yeah, you, you need, need to create a new one. one. Like, you if need I... to rewrite the whole file anyway. But you don't need to generate the content new. Yeah. So the expense, I think, the expensive thing is like going through each package content, grabbing the whole dict of of all the information in there and then writing it in the new uh, uh like the new file you're writing so like maybe i need to copy the existing file over before i can write to it to add 20 more paragraphs but i don't need to read every package on disk or from the database i think from the database but still yeah, hopefully it's from the database <laughs> yes I, I think i read it from the database but even so like i think reading every package that i would say by 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 trying to um, like double the existing artifact and then modifying it and then saving it as a new artifact uh, my third thought is on ruby gem there's a large list of packages available and i believe this is actually meant to be appended to so that even the clients can decide okay i, I have i downloaded this list yesterday just show me the new bits mm -hmm. so this would even speed up on the client side maybe and my fourth thought is um we talked about the sub repositories and the hier hierarchical structure of Debian repositories. Mm -hmm. And that would be interesting to see if you could have the um, metadata for the sub repositories being in publications for the sub repositories. And when you just modify one of the branches in your repository, then all the other metadata is just retained yeah. together with the complete set of packages there. So I agree that this that's not like, orthogonal optimization. Yeah, that it might intersect with the subrepository idea, and that might make sense to think of like finish the subrepository. If I'm going to do it, do the subrepository thing first, and then think about this, because you just said one could build one like one could build this on top of subrepositories to maybe have a further optimization there. Okay. Yeah. So, but like. For this, I think I have my answer. So I would now go over to the sub-repository. Where have I got it here? And since this you is remind my... me, stop and restart, okay? Yeah. Thank you.